And caught on camera, a deputy arresting a man who moments after this video was recorded crashed into his squad car. Tonight, the deputy is being commended for his quick thinking on the road. Channel 2 Sion Rhodes joins us live now along 249 in Old Bamel, North Houston, with details of this arrest and how a tragedy was averted. Sion? And Bill, it happened right here about 6 o'clock yesterday morning. A wrong way driver and a split-second decision by that deputy that probably saved both of their lives. This dash cam video shows the peaceful ending of a dangerous early morning encounter for a Precinct 4 deputy on Highway 249 and Old Bamel, North Houston. Goes a very short distance and sees a vehicle coming right at him with headlight. Behind the wheel, 40-year-old Nolvin Santiago Rodriguez. This suspect had an opportunity to go around the deputy, but of course, you know, uh, part of being a impaired driver is they fixate on what's right in front of them. With little time to get out of the way, the deputy could only slow down and brace for impact. By the deputy coming to almost a complete stop, uh, that kind of the uh, cut down on the impact uh, that both vehicles. If you're going 30 here and 30 here, that's a 60 mile an hour impact. It certainly saved uh, you know, them, them both from getting injured. Rodriguez backed up his car and tried to get away, but another police officer stopped him and he was taken into custody. They smelled alcohol, he was very disoriented. Uh, it was very clear he was intoxicated. A situation Constable Herman says could have been a lot worse. And I can tell you that uh, uh, the man upstairs was looking out for the citizens of North Harris County by having our deputy uh, have the encounter with this, these folks instead of an innocent family. Now, Rodriguez was arrested, charged with DWI, and taken to the Harris County Jail. He posted $500 bond, but he's not free to leave because there's an immigration hold on him now. He'll be released to federal custody. Reporting live, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.